Well, guys, I think you don't know what time it is, but if you don't know, it is time for some Dragon Ball Kai. Attack of the Saijins. This time, we're actually going to finish this chapter. That I promise you. So let's head back to Kiwi Volcano, shall we? Okay, for this, we're going to need to do this. We're going to switch out Tin Shinhan. For Goku. Trust me, you'll see why. Now you're probably wondering why am I on, on the screen? There's something we're going to need while we're up here. Oh, you die now. Oh, yes. Now, truth be told, when I did my run of, of the game, I actually went to Frappe, to Mount Frappe first, then I went to, then I went here. But it doesn't really matter which way you go. And yeah, if you, if you can see this, yeah. The Yorgon. Looks strangely like Cell, doesn't it? Strangely looking like Cell. And since Goku is up to level 15, which is good, I think we're going to do one for technique and the other for luck well, let's see what's in here psionic bracelet Krillin is going to hit level 13 really, really soon. Well, in a few minutes, rather. So Krillin is now at level 13. And we shall put a point to power... And technique. That's what I want.
What's that even necessary? No. Of course, it was never necessary. But then again, you had to pick on the whipping boy. I feel so sorry for Yamcha. He was always the whipping boy in the series. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what the psionic bracelet is. I mean, I've actually... I've actually, you know, checked what the psionic bracelet is, but, you know. Absorbs key from enemies. And reveals a little of your key. I think I'm going to use... For Krillin, the protective mark. And for Yamcha, the fighter's mark. Hello, Mangwaras. Do really was that even necessary? Now, look what you've done. wasn't even necessary. Now you're just constantly pissing people off right there. Now as often said, it's better to be on level 14 around here. Or higher. That's why I remember what the walkthrough said. Of course, people are getting racked up by badass, right? I believe in the next screen you do get the um, cold boots. That works. Yamato reach level 15. So we're going to put one to technique and accuracy. Just to even out all the stats. Or just the stats that do matter. I'm about to say, can I go up there? <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Oh, okay. Don't want that. 
Don't want to go near there yet. I need to get. Let's see, I know. I really want to get the cold boots while I'm here. Because really, I, it, it, it is best if you get the cold boots right before you go into this next battle. Because it will soften the blow. And Phoenix Feather. So that's the main thing we want to get before we actually go to that, to this next boss fight. I'm going to go down here. And in here, oh, the cold boost. That's exactly what we need. Now. We're going to switch the darkness card to the cold boots. And as you can see, it raises fire resist. Makes fire floors safe. So, yeah, that's the main reason why you want to take on this next battle with the cold boots. Because it will raise resistance to fire. As with everything else. Yeah, yeah. So for safety's sake, I'm going to raise Krillin's level to at least 14. Plus, I do not want to go through going to get the cold boost again. Well, let's go. Ah. Oh, yeah. Now, the whole thing about this next boss battle is... Well, I should say the next two boss battles. Is, well... For the most part, you and me... Yamcha, Goku, and... Kudenin. Believe me, you're going to need them.
What? Seriously? Really? Man, what the hell's wrong with you? And there you have it. Critten reaches level 14. And on that note, we shall raise his accuracy and power by two. I think it's best that I go down here, say one more time, like so. And off we go to get the eggshell. Yes! First attack. Gotta love that first attack. And gotta love how high the rage is. Oh, so much rage. And we get defense water for our efforts. So up we go to the eggshell. Wow, so this is a fight? It's bird egg? Great! Now we just need to take the shell back! We better hurry, I'm getting worried about Guma. Hmm? Oh, look. Remember them? They're from Dragon Ball. Hey, who are you? The rightful owners of that egg! I'm honestly astounded you actually found an egg from that bird. Sorry, Paolo, but we're taking that sucker, shall it all? Huh? Hey, it's you! Quit messing with us! We're never gonna l let you have it! There's someone you ought to meet before you start going off like that. A man feared in every corner of the dark underworld. Robbery, murder, speeding, extortion, pickpocketing, dining dash. Wait, what? He'll do anything, anything for money. The Emperor! His name? None other than Emperor! Rice Pilaf! Really? <laughs> oh great, it's him. <laughs> I love how Goku's like Oh. Oh, it's you. Never mind. <laughs> and Ten has no idea who the hell he is. Huh? You know him? Oh, look at this! A fortified egg I see here! It's the only one of its kind in the world. I could sell it for 100 million zed easy! And with that kind of cash, my dreams of world conquest would finally become reality! Shoot, sure, you never had that kind of dream. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> the egg is mine! Oh, mine! If you value your life, give me that egg! We want... We, we want something, we get it! And that's that! Screen went out. Uh, wait, Emperor Pilal? Am I going at it alone here? Of course you are! Go! No! Why? Yeah, this is the shoe machine. If everybody remembers classic Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. 
now the thing about the shoe machine is um it can really hurt if you're not careful. But since I am not careful, I'm going to do the following. Beat the living tar out of this motherfucker. And at the same time, raise our rage gauge. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I want to raise my rage meter up. But not like that. Now what I can do here is I can do Destructo Disc, but I don't want to do that. I w well, not Destructo Disc, but Kamehameha. But since I can't do that, Goku is stunned for the time being. Thank you! Now we get to do this. One, Kamehameha. Two, Kamehameha. And it's even level two. That's even awesome. And three, Kameha Meha. When you get three of those together, what do you get? Kameha Meha Fever! Oh, I hope that hurts you, shit. I hope that really did hurt you, shoe. Seriously, man. And of course, if you feel like you're low on energy, make sure you take a bean and pop it in your mouth. So right now, I'm just going to do the following. That works. I imagine for that. You know, it's a good thing we have the cold boots on. Because that really would fuck us over if we didn't have that. So that's why I'm kind of dealing with this. So we can go into K fever again. Oh, yes. Now, why can't you just bastards? you you know what time it is it's time for some K fever sparking so awesome. Just having Shu get explodified by the awesomeness which was the Kameha Fever. Of 
Or I should, I should call it the cave fever. So Goku, Yamata, and Chen levels. And for Goku, we're going to raise accuracy and speed. Yamcha will get a raise in luck and tech. And Ten will get a raise in defense and luck. And we get scrap iron for our efforts. seen you somewhere before. Yeah, I was just thinking that myself. Until it hits him. Wait a minute. Isn't your name... Oh, oh me? Goku the, Goku's the name, guys. Goku? Son Goku! Goku, huh? Goku! Ah! Help us! Oh, well, wait a sec. I think I just remembered. Y you're G -G -G Goku! Yes, my name is Goku. Oh no! 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 Ever no! be Weirdos. Guess we won't be seeing them again. Time to go home. So we get the eggshell. One eggy shell, two eggy shells, three eggy shells. Ah ah ah. So, with that, we have cleared the volcano. And I'm going to leave here because there's nothing for us to do here. So, the next place we're going to head for is up and off. In Mount Frappe. And what awaits us in Mount Frappe? We don't know yet. But you will find out in the next part of Let's Play Dragon Ball Kai. Stay tuned for the next part. <laughs>